Welcome to Wolf Med. Making Learning Automatic by Harry Benjamin Lang. Today's topic is the anterior approach to the hip. In an appropriately consented, marked, anesthetized patient with the WHO checklist performed, I will position them supine with a sandbag. The landmarks are the iliac crest, the anterior superior iliac spine, and the lateral border of the patella. The internovus plane is easily demonstrated using Mason's diagrammatic representation of the cross section at the level of the greater trochanter. Anterior muscles, abductors, gluteus maximus. The tensor fascia lata and the gluteus medius are supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. The sartorius and rectus femoris are supplied by the femoral nerve. Superficial dissection is between sartorius and tensor fascia lata. Deep dissection is between rectus femoris and gluteus medius. Detachment and retraction of rectus femoris origin medially exposes the capsule with adduction and external rotation of the leg. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve is at risk as it crosses sartorius superficially and the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery must be ligated in the gap between sartorius and tensor fascia lata. Extension proximally is along the iliac crest sometimes for bone graft, and distally in line with the lateral border of the patella between rectus femoris and vastus lateralis, for example an intraoperative femoral fracture, don't forget to subscribe, and like. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Automate.